Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. We just had a dream of an accident. And I think it was... Aoi's accident. Uh, when I opened my eyes, I thought that I was on that hospital bed. Sure, there's an unfamiliar ceiling, but I soon figured out that it wasn't a hospital. It's my room, huh? I still don't really feel like this is my room, though. I lie on my side on the bed and vacantly try to recall what happened in my dream. I forgot most of what occurred from the shock of waking up, but I still had a general idea of what kind of dream it was. I pull the alarm clock towards myself. 11.42 it's noon already. Even though it's Sunday, I've slept too long. On Sunday, I don't need to prepare breakfast. As for the jobs like fixing leaks and other jobs that can be done quickly, I did most of them yesterday. A Sunday with nothing to do. I get out of bed and to look down at my knee. There's the scar, fresh from surgery. It was the first time I'd seen it in a while, the dream about that time. In the last few days, because of how busy I'd been and the change of scene, I'd gone without having any unnecessary thoughts. Things had only calmed down a little, yet I had let my guard down emotionally. Somehow, I felt strangely sluggish and didn't feel like getting out of bed. There was someone knocking on the door. It's Sane, the third year boarder. She's quite a cheerful person, but I always feel like she's keeping her distance from me. Despite that, now... I'm awake! First, I answer, then get out of bed and then moved over to the door. What is it? While thinking it was strange for Sane to get so excited, I quickly got changed and left the room. I look outside the entrance to see... Yo, Aoi! Anchan! When she said I had a visitor, she meant Anchan. The boarders poked their heads out from behind the wall of the hallway and looked at Anchan from a distance. It's just like Anchan to be completely unfazed by this weird spectacle. Anchan said as he passed me a welcoming present. What's this? Shinjin mochi? Oh, is this what I think it is? Anchan had always been popular with the girls especially with much older ladies. He often received presents from them, particularly from the elderly ladies. It's possible that he could become like the straw millionaire, and even if he just walked around the town for a day, there'd be no shortage of things to eat. I take the souvenir from Anchan and pass it to Yuka and the others, who are half hidden behind the wall of the hallway. Here. He said we should eat this together. He's my childhood friend, Anchan. The others all start saying, Really? Too. Anchan, come on in. I'll pour you a cup of tea or something. Yes, you're right. Because I am staying here, I don't really think about it that often. Um, okay.
Yeah, it's nice. It feels relaxing. <laughs> 無理すんな。この景色見て故郷に帰ってきた気分にはならないだろ。Yeah, I guess not. The reconstruction work has been completed in this area, and it feels like a new town. There are numerous brand new buildings, and the roads are neatly paved. There's not a trace of the Kazagwara that I once knew. But I remember this street. I mean, I used to come down here almost every day. If you go this way, it leads to Kazami Shopping Street. It's the place where me, Agaha, and the others were born and raised. Had a small shopping street. My family had a small real estate agency set up on one side of the street. Aga's family had a sporting goods store, and Masatsugu's had a ramen restaurant. Then there's Anchan's place, which is a town factory near the shopping street. My childhood friends and I were all kids of the Kazami shopping street, so we all played together. However, The shopping street disappeared due to the reconstruction. Windy, you are more than a I've been to the underground shopping arcade a few times. I went to buy groceries. That was where I went yesterday with Agaha and Katori. That's right. I was busy, so I hadn't been there. Yeah. Windy Kazagwara. It's a large shopping mall built on the site of the small Kazami shopping street where we grew up. I've been to the underground level before, but I've always entered using the back entrance, which is near the dormitory. So I didn't know what it was like above. Even though I imagined a big building. I can't believe that Kazami shopping tree used to be here. Kokonai demo Yusu no Shogyo Shitz da Soda. Ima ya Fusha no Okato Narande, Kazegaura no Shinme Shodazo. I didn't feel at all like I had come back to my hometown. On the contrary, I felt like I was lost in some unknown country. What happened to everyone from the shopping street? Agaha said that she had moved. Oh, oh, Agaha appeared with uncanny timing. きっと、二人で遊んでるんだ。私も声かけてよね。だってお前、店の手伝いがあるんだろ。今終わったとこ。Replied Agaha, who is standing in front of Maggie Sports. That's what it said on the sign. Oh yeah, you told me that you moved. But your shop, it's in Windy now, right? Himegi Sports, the sporting goods store managed by Agaha's father. As far as I remember, it was a small town sporting goods store, but now it was kind of a trendy sports store aimed at younger people. They must be thinking of the kind of customers they'd get in the shopping mall, but I'm slightly confused since it's so different than to how it was when I was a kid. <laughs> I didn't know that your dad had an eye for what young people like. I answered while slightly dazed. As Agaha called from inside the store, a petite girl smaller than Agaha came outside. Taru opened her eyes wide for a moment and then looked up at me. 
her face seemed to say, Is this big guy standing here really Aoi? In that case, I should prove it myself. Long time no see, Hotari. I rub Hotaru's head in the same way that Anchan did to me. Hotaru wriggles her head around at her wit's end as I rub it. She is Agaha's younger sister. She's only one year younger, so we used to play together a lot as kids. Her personality is the complete opposite of her sister, shy and quiet. Ha ha ha, you've gotten bigger too. Rub rub. I'm not being mean, am I? Hotaru? I let go, and for a little while, Hotaru continued moving her head round and round, even though I wasn't doing anything. I'm back, Hotaru. Do you want me to rub your head again? I start to move my hands towards her like I'm going to do it again. Hotaru jumped back and hid behind Agaha. I've been punched in the ribs. Ech, I... I just wanted to play with Hotaru a little. That's all. For some reason, Agaha is very protective of Hotaru. I thought I'd come and see you sometime, Hotaru. Soka. Otaru goes there too? That's a surprise. I had the idea in my head that Hotaru would definitely go to a regular school. Anchan graduated from Keifu Academy. Because it was the school that Anchan went to, Agaha and the others all took the entrance exams like it was a matter of course. I was the same. I knew it was a special school when I chose to transfer to it. Hey, Anchan. <笑>似たようなもんだろ。青井に昼飯おごってやろうと思ってな。お前らも来るか行く。行く。となると、あいつも呼んでやらないと後で詰めるな。ああ、ダメダメ。麻婆なら今日は忙しいって。なんだ用
So everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.